Answer. Sean, Adam, Drew, and Rick are two couples. One has invited the other to their place for an evening meal, and probably later, a movie. Rick tells a joke, and Sean laughs, even though he doesn't get it. While Adam rolls his eyes and smiles, he's heard Rick tell it a dozen times before. Drew helps Adam carve the beef, while Sean spoons out vegetables onto everyone's plate, himself last. Rick nibbles on a baked carrot and makes a little appreciative, hmm, noise. I sometimes wonder what an anthropologist from another planet would make of our little rituals. The way we dress, act, and speak. The things we say, and the things we really mean. I've known these people for years. I was at college with my boyfriend before he became my boyfriend, and we both knew our hosts when they started dating. They were the proverbial odd couple, with an age difference of nine years and contrasting attitudes to punctuality and neatness, but they surprised everyone, including probably themselves, by staying together. Drew has difficulty opening the bottle of wine. He gives it to Rick to try, and eventually the cork comes out. Adam sips his wine first. Sean proposes a toast, and all four raise their glasses. Two of the men are also having a secret relationship. Sean's boyfriend went to the same school as Drew. Adam's boyfriend once worked for the same company as Sean. Yes, all right. I'm carrying on with one of them, and it's not my boyfriend, and his boyfriend has no idea, and if one of us slips and it gets out, well, I don't know what'll happen. But it'll be bad. So, yes, there is something else going on here. We're both nervous and desperate not to show it. Sometimes, when I look across the table and our eyes meet, there's a moment of shared fear, so I try not to make eye contact. Someone might see it. There must be a thousand little clues which would tell our alien anthropologist that our hosts are very much in love. Subtleties of body posture, movement, expression. Even the way they manage to coordinate their eating and speaking, so one holds up the conversation while the other chews. But if that's true, there must be a hundred clues that there's discord mixed in the harmony. They argued earlier, before we arrived. They didn't mention it, but I can tell. They've broken up a few times, once for six months, but they always get back together. Rick passes the jug of gravy to Drew, who offers it to Adam, but Adam signals that he doesn't need any more. Sean starts talking about a documentary he saw on television last night. When the others show interest, he goes into more detail. Sean is Rick's boyfriend. Rick is not having an affair with Drew. I love my boyfriend. I just can't think of anything to say about him. He's just... nice. When he's with me, we can happily spend the whole day in separate rooms, so long as we share a bed at the end of it. But when he's not around, I miss him terribly. This whole... thing started when he was out of town, about a year ago. I was feeling very sorry for myself, trying to think of an excuse to call him. But then someone called me. I didn't even recognize the voice at first, sniffing and weeping down the phone at me. He's gone, walked out, says he's never coming back, says he hates me. I don't know what to do. Oh, God. So I went over and, yeah, 
You can guess, can't you? We just needed someone to listen, hold our hands and say it'll be all right. Of course, they did get back together, and we agreed that we should forget what had happened, because we both had really great partners of our own. So let's never mention it again, but before that, let's just have one... last. Yeah, right. Adam starts to say something, but is interrupted by Drew choking on a piece of food. Sean asks if he needs help, but Drew says he's okay. Rick looks relieved. The four eat in silence for a minute, before Sean takes up the conversation again. Drew is not having an affair with Sean. Sean once went on a date with Adam, but this was their only romantic involvement. Rick takes the last baked potato, cheerfully munching on the leftovers as Adam pours himself another half glass of wine, and Drew leans back in his chair, a little overfull. Sean is still talking the others occasionally nodding to show they're still listening. I am Adam. Who is my boyfriend? Who are the other couple? Which one is my lover? Give your answer in full. <laughs> 